Good evening, everyone. I am Angela Gegg, and you're watching Angie Live in Dubai. We're here in the Visual TV studios right here in Dubai. Having a media platform gives me a personal responsibility to use my voice and give back to society. I use my voice to send messages to my viewers, and I give back to society by inviting local businesses, entrepreneurs, influencers in every area, luxury realtors, producers, celebrities, and artists onto the show. And today is no exception as I'm joined in the studios with the king of juice. He was born in Kuwait and then moved on to Cyprus and then over here to Dubai. He studied civil engineering, and of course, now it's all about a juice. We're going to meet him on the show today, guys. I'm joined with the king of juice. Stay tuned. I'm back with Raja in just a few. back in the studios with the king of juice himself he's here with me now raja is here hey thanks for joining us thank you for having me Absolutely. very excited <laughs> we're excited to have you here thank you thank you yeah so i obviously i'm looking forward to today's show i personally have been on a mission to find the best juice in the uae yeah. i have found it i have you here. we found each other yes, yes. <laughs> absolutely absolutely yeah uh before we get into all of that yeah. i actually like my audience to learn a little bit about the man sure. that's on the couch with me today sure sure so tell us a little bit about you uh so i was born in kuwait uh after the gulf war we moved uh, to cyprus for a few years mm -hmm. then uh moved to dubai from mm -hmm. here i went off to university mm -hmm. uh in california california state uh, and then moved to dubai and that was it moved back to dubai and that was it we started started the life here Amazing. So yeah. I, I heard from my sources that you actually owned a very successful beach club. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so uh, a few years ago, about 2010, uh, my business partner and I, we opened a beach club in uh, Marina called XL. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the first of its kind, the first beach club in Dubai. Uh, we did very, very well from it. It was a good time. A lot of friends, a lot of memories. Uh, it's closed now, but uh, wow, what a ride. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. So from beach clubs to a completely healthy journey of yes. juices <laughs> so uh besides uh, the, uh my family business engineering i'm a civil engineer myself mm -hmm. so after years of working um uh, with family business i've always had something going on on the side mm -hmm. including my club had a trading business etc and a few years ago well now many years ago uh we went into the juice business Ooh. yeah Ooh. yeah and if you guys can notice just next to me i've got some of these amazing juices here with me um they do everything from the green juices to well, this one looks like it has some carrot, one of my favorites, yeah. pomegranate, some orange. Yeah, and of course, decent. you have a major selection. We just wanted to show some off in the show today. But tell me a little bit about what it is to be a cold-pressed juice. Because I noticed on the label it says cold-pressed. And I have no idea what okay, this is. Okay, so a lot of people lie about cold-pressing. Uh -huh. And um, they just say that cold-press is... Uh, um, on menus, you'll see it, right? But they, are, they don't actually cold-press. Cold-press is a method of juicing. Ooh. where you slow press juice oh. it's a massive machine basically you you load the fruit and vegetable into a into a cylinder mm -hmm. the cylinder shreds into a bag and you press it you press it three four times under high pressure basically you're getting all the nutrients all the fibers out of every single fruit and vegetable you oh. put into the juice that is cold press in a cold environment of course i understand yes. okay so basically the factories would be Extremely, I no heat is involved God. at all. So it actually is really just what it sounds like. You it are, is cold pressing. It's cold pressing. Yes. <laughs> People just think they're dropping it in the little little blitz that they have in the in the restaurants. That is not cold pressing. Yeah. yeah. So you'll see a lot of false advertisement, but this is the correct, true advertisement. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, really quickly, Irfan, turn off the earpiece. It's driving me insane. I can't focus. Thank you. Sorry. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to everything yeah. we were saying, and I was going crazy. Yeah, I, can I? Ooh. You want to do that again? Yeah, I want to say there's a misconception about cold All pressing. Right, so I'd let do me that. ask the question yeah. again because we're yeah. going to be editing this perfect, part out perfect. anyway. Um, so tell me exactly what you mean by cold press, because I noticed on the labels here it says that these juices are in fact cold press, and I see this often, but I have no idea what it means. So there's a big misconception about cold press juicing or the juicing world in general. Mm -hmm. People think that just if you have a juicer at home, you blitz, et cetera, et cetera, you get your juices out and people assume that this is cold press and now it's healthy. Oh. Cold press is a very difficult method of juicing. Oh. Basically you are from A to Z 
in a cold environment. No heat is involved in the process of making the juice. Fruit and vegetable are loaded into a cylinder. The cylinder shreds into a bag. The bag is shredded. Can we go back again? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, loads, can I go, just go back, easy? I will edit. Oh, okay. It's okay. Um, Whatever you mess up, if you want to do it again, <coughs> sorry, sorry. I will edit it yeah. out. Fruit and vegetable are loaded into a cylinder. Mm -hmm. The cylinder, cylinder is shredded into a pile. The pile is then shredded into a bag. The bag is then extracted with juice, and there you have what is what mm -hmm. we know. So as, you get all the nutrients. Exactly. All, the and, fiber. And it's pressed hundreds of times over oh, high wow. pressure. And you get every single ounce of juice, fiber, and nutrients from the fruit and vegetable that you add into the bag. I see, that's so interesting. Yeah. So it's super healthy. Extremely healthy. I think the word health has now become a very broad word. Uh -huh. So we're very into wellness and lifestyle at the moment. So this, these, these juices are, are tailor-made for wellness. So that's why when body. you talk about a juice cleanse and whatnot, yes. these are the type of cold-pressed juices that actually work for that juice yes. cleanse. So for juice cleanses, we have a larger size. So mm -hmm. you'll do six juices a day for the number of days that you want to juice. Three, five, seven, we had a lady did 21 days of juice, we'll get to that 21 later. 21 days of just <laughs> yeah. juice? She, she had to have a heart surgery, she had to drop weight as fast as possible, so the doctor had recommended she said something like this, where you stay quite uh, high in nutrients and you can drop down very quickly. Wow, yeah. so wait, you can actually you lose weight from juicing? You can lose weight from juicing. Uh, we, we prefer to call it as like a, we prefer that you do a detox versus uh, thinking of it as a weight loss, but uh. you do definitely lose weight from juicing because you're consuming liquids for so they Five can't days. consume food, they just have juice. They just have juice. No alcohol? <laughs> no I mean, coffee? I, I, I do the coffee, I do a little <laughs> bit of alcohol, but uh, yes, it is highly recommended to just stick to the juice plant. And you don't get hungry because this has the fiber and any carbohydrates no. and sugar and all these things? It's all psychological. It's mm. the first uh, couple of days that really play with your brain and then after a while you're, you're fine. By day four and five, you don't even think about it, you start skipping juice. Um, oh. It's very psychological, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I'm not sure I could ever do it, but kudos to anyone that can. And of course, actually, you know what? I could. I could do anything. Well, I we think gotta try that it out. if I put my mind to it, I could definitely do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You, you want it? I definitely. think I could. I yes. think I could. Now, I noticed also you guys do a range of like with nuts. So, aside from the juice, you have like some mixes with cashew nuts. Cashew it's nut. almost like a milk, but it's not a Correct. Thing. We try to put, for some cleanses, we try to put a, uh, a nut milk at the end, just uh -huh. to have somebody look forward to something. Otherwise, we have them in the small sizes that we sell on the shelves everywhere, and people like them. Some people want a non-dairy milk or nut milk, so they, they like those ones with cacao, uh, cacao ones with the uh, cashew pistachio and cacao. Pistachio I saw as well. Pistachio, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Very yeah. nice, amazing. Yeah. yeah, I'm one of the people who doesn't drink milk. So well, I, I would like soy milk and these sort of things. Yes. So that would appeal to yes. me. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Very cool. Okay, so cleanses you say are very good for you. Are they safe? Uh, they are definitely safe. Okay. Yes, very safe. I don't recommend that you use this again as a diet or your target to drop 10 kilos. It, yes, it will happen, but not very good for your system. Okay. Um, unless it's prescribed by a doctor. Okay, I got you. Uh, like you said yeah, for that woman, yes, right? Yes, exactly. For certain scenarios, yes, it is safe because you're getting the maximum nutrients that you need to, that you need to take in on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. uh, but we try to avoid people who call and say, I need to lose weight in five days because I've got a wedding to go to. Yes, great, you will, but it's not, the, it's not our, our mission. Yeah, <laughs> you know I, mean? yeah. I understand. It's Wellness, about, lifestyle, mm, you know, health. That makes in sense. In that word, yes. And how do you stay up with like, like the latest juice ideas, different yeah. juice blends? How do you come up with these juice blends? So I'll tell you before I let you answer that. Let me take a look at this one, guys. This one here says carrot, apple, lemon, ginger, and turmeric, right? So, and I notice all of them are different blends. You don't just do like this one, you would think it's an orange, but it's orange, apple, lemon, grapefruit, cayenne, ginger, and turmeric. Um, popular ingredients there, the turmeric. And then this one, I love green juices. You guys know if you follow me, I'm all about green juice. <laughs> this one is pineapple, cucumber, apple, spinach, kale, celery, lemon, ginger, and parsley. Yes. So how do you actually stay on top of the blends and come up with different ideas? And good question. Is, good, yeah. Very good question. So we do have uh, a few nutritionists on board. Oh, excellent. Yes. Uh, okay. But most of the trends come out of the United States. So if you follow the trends that are in California, those juice companies there, New York, et cetera, et cetera, you start to figure out where, where things are moving to. Obviously, we have a big research team. R&D is very important to us we are coming out and we have 16 SKUs at the moment we're coming out with another five to six more just before the summer oh, wow. so you'll see a lot more juices uh, in the range yeah and okay. we're doing shots as well now little shots little like, shots hey guys want to give us a try ready mm. 
So yummy. <laughs> I'm really all about green juice. I love it. This one's for me. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so tell me about the shots. I did see that there were some like boost, wake me up. Yeah. How does that really boost someone and wake them up? Oh, I like this. This is quite good, by the way. Some more. <laughs> but tell me a little bit about the but shots. Basically, they're just <laughs> concentrated ADML shots that we, mm. we've uh, come up with that will just help you give a quick start in the morning or in the afternoon or whenever you need it. And some is for digestive issues, some to give you more of an energy boost, some is just to, I don't know, calm yourself or wake you up or hit Oh, so me, some of them me. are calming as well. Yes, we are coming up with a chamomile shot. Oh, next. that's yes, amazing. Yes. So that's going to be like more of a calming. Um, and we're going to do um, uh, maybe a caf caffeine-based, uh, coffee-based one. Oh, just to give you a quick that would be really nice. Pre-workout gym type, type oh, thing. Oh, very yeah, exciting times ahead. Then. Yes, yes, we're very I love it. Very, yeah. very cool. Well, I think it's time on that note for a short commercial break. And guys, I'll be back with more of Raja and Essentially in just a few. We are back for more Angie live in Dubai here from our Viewsel TV studios. I'm joined with Raja from Essentially Today. And of course, you guys know I have a worldwide audience. We have a lot of people watching. And maybe someone out there is wondering, how do I become an entrepreneur? So Raja is also going to answer a few of these questions and talk to us about his entrepreneurial lifestyle. Raja! Yes, yes. A lot of people ask me uh, these days about... Uh, Patience. You, know, you have to be very patient when you start a business. Yeah. Uh, we started this business. It wasn't actually called Essentially back then. It was called Cold Press Juice with a K. Mm. Um, and then we merged with Essentially and bought Essentially uh, three, four years ago. Okay. Um, but I tell you, the name of the, <laughs> the game is patience. Because, patience. Yeah. And uh, setting up a business in different countries around the world is very difficult and very different. So mm -hmm. wherever you are might be easier. Some place might be more difficult, more laws, more municipality issues, more, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Then, of course, you reach the point where you have to upgrade equipment, upgrade machinery. You've seen our new warehouse, for I example. Have, yeah, that, I had a tour. That, that, that is a beautiful warehouse, state of the art. But we knew that if we didn't, um, if we didn't get to that point, uh, that we wouldn't be looked at as a, as a premium product. Mm -hmm. And you need to think, always think, how can I get my product better, faster, mm -hmm. but always stick with your initial mm -hmm. idea you know, substance, how did I get there? Why did I do this? Mm. Integrity needs to be in there. Mm -hmm. Stick to your basics, mm -hmm. keep it done. Don't cut corners. A lot of other companies cut corners. Mm -hmm. Water, for example, is added to many, many fruit juices. And sugar? And, and sugar. So there's no sugar in these? <laughs> no, there's absolutely okay. no sugar added into those, of course not. Okay, okay. So Raja, what motivates you day to day to keep going, to let your business be better than the rest? I want to be the next Coca-Cola. I want to be okay. on every on every table. I want to be the next. Love it. You know the juice king, as I like to say. Yeah. You know, to <laughs> we're almost there. We're on pretty much every shelf uh, mm. in the UAE. Uh, soon in Saudi, we're working on that very soon. Um, yeah, I want to be the brand that everybody knows. And I'm a Dubai boy, so I'm very happy to make this as every bottle says proudly made in the UAE. Yeah. I'm very proud that it's made in the UAE. Mm -hmm. Um, is very important for me, you know, very, mm -hmm. very important. And I so. noticed you're even, um, some of the brands are putting their own labels on there as well. So they love the juices. They're bringing them yeah. into the coffee shops with their label and your label combined. Yes. That's, that's starting yeah. to happen as well. So that's yeah, really cool. We're, we're growing really quickly and uh, we're very excited for the future. I love it. I love it. I love it. So what's next for you in the world of juices? <sighs> I don't know. Let's see. Uh, well, you did say Coca-Cola, right? Coca-Cola, yeah, yeah. But until we get there, I will say uh, we are in the process of acquiring a big piece of equipment that we're, okay. yeah, that will help us out a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, scaling. We gotta, we gotta get up there. We gotta mm -hmm. get to ten thousand bottles a day, fifteen thousand mm -hmm. bottles a day. Mm -hmm. We're we're almost there. You yeah, know? we're almost there. <laughs> but that's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. So, did COVID at all impact? Uh -huh. the Good question. Mm. Uh, COVID, when we thought that was it, we we're going to shut the doors. And if anything, it was the complete opposite because uh, producing juices is a part of the essential daily life uh, during COVID. And everyone was trying to boost their vitamins, boost their uh, immunity, boost, boost, boost. And we were pumping. We thought we were going to, that was it, close the doors. Like many businesses did. Yes, like many yes. businesses did, unfortunately. Mm. Um, and next thing you know, we were just flying off the shelf and we we're working hard. And we all had those passes to get along as an essential um, part of the part of the COVID resistance, as we used to call it. Mm, COVID resistance, yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah, actually, these would have been very handy. You're right. I could see how this yeah. was a uh, people want to boost, like you said, they're immune. They want their vitamins. They want all of this. Now we I'm do. Um, my juice. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, COVID booster packs, immune booster packs now. Mm -hmm. So uh, different little packs in case anybody um, needs a quick. I love it. Yeah, we're we're there. 
Yeah. Any plans of putting like any, any sort of vitamins, like echinacea or zinc or any of that sort of stuff in the future? Ca collagen is, is the main topic at the oh, moment. Oh yes, it is absolutely. Collagen right. is very, very important. Uh, yeah, there's a few ideas. I love that coffee one we talked about. Yeah, the, the chamomile. The ca yeah, they're I would all, they're start all... my day with the coffee and end and it with the, the chamomile. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, the, that's the plan. Uh, yeah, there's a few things on the horizon. We can't tell everybody no, what's we, going we on. No, we don't but, want uh, to tell everybody. When what's you come going visit on. again, you'll get all the oh, all the really excited. all the info. But uh, maybe we'll yeah. do a little tour on camera as well. Yes, Bring yes, in. we can. I'd love that. Yeah, that'd be nice. So also, a little birdie told me that you are a professional polo player. Ooh, that's a big word, professional. Ah. <laughs> well, you're a polo player. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, I mean, <laughs> look, yeah, it's something I've been doing for maybe 17 years of my life. I play polo every single day, except mm. for the summer because here's too hot. But I do travel around the world and play. I play in the U.S., Africa, wow. UK. Spain. It's, uh, yeah. it's like a fraternity. It's great. Um, uh, business contacts are, are endless. They call Polo the passport to the world and 100% so it cool. is. I've got a few horses here in Dubai. I play mm -hmm. pretty much every day. I'm supposed to be playing today, but I came to see you. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, oh, that's it. Yeah, lots Amazing. of Amazing. So fun. Polo is very athletic. You, yeah. You, so it obviously also matches into what you're doing with the juices and what yes. have you. Yes, very uh, cool. definitely. Uh, that wellness balances there. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. If people wanted to find you online, where could they find you? So you can find us at uh, on Instagram at essentially UAE mm -hmm. and then www.essentially.com. Mm -hmm. uh, there are Online platforms actually very very easy to use. We've worked on it endlessly and tirelessly to get it spot on. Mm -hmm. Actually, we found a we found a little problem the other day. We had to fix, which mm -hmm. we didn't even we didn't <laughs> even realize. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can order your juices, order your cleanses. You can find us all the coffee shops from Costas to Cafe Nero to the gas stations now to the. We're, Soon you'll see us on every counter, every shelf. That's oh, the whole thing. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Woo! <laughs> I yeah. love it. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to take a short commercial break. And when I get back, it is my favorite segment of the show. We're going to have some trivia. We're going to have some Ooh. fun with Raja. We're going to get to know a little bit more about sure. him from those questions. It's going to be awesome. Are you ready? I am. Ready to have some fun? Yes. Let's do it. All right, guys. A short commercial break and bring me back. And let's continue with Raja. And we are back. It is my favorite part of the show. It is trivia time with Raja from Essentially. So right now we're going to get to know a little bit about you. Ooh. You got to answer fast. Trick I'm going to ask you some cute questions, uh -huh. some oh. fun stuff, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready for number one? Yes, number one. Are you a hunter or a gatherer? Hunter. And why? I'm, I'm an alpha male. <laughs> what do you mean? 100% hunter. I go get what I want. <laughs> I love it. Oh my yeah. God, that's amazing. All right. If you could be any color, what would you be and why? Blue. Ooh, why? why? I don't know. Just the color of the ocean. I'm a cancer. Ooh. Just I like. Ooh. I always wear blue. Just my thing, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. If you won the lottery of $10 million, what's the first thing you would do? Buy more equipment for one business. Oh, I like that. Very <laughs> entrepreneurial, you see? Very nice. Okay, what do you think of when you're alone in your car? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, a lot of things. A lot of things run through my mind. Uh, lately, it's that the weather's changing. <laughs> it is, right? It's it really is. Quickly. It's already it's summer. <laughs> no, a lot of things on my mind, whether it's work, family, polo, whatever it is, you've got a lot of things to do. Okay, okay. I try to sleep really, really early, so I try to get all my thinking done mm. as, as early as possible. Smart cookie. Give me four of the favorite objects in your home. Four objects that you can see in your house right now. Four favorite ones. My wine fridge, my other wine fridge, <laughs> my bar. <laughs> And my, yeah, I've got a little uh, trophy that I won uh, last year that was very important to me. That's one oh, of my favorite things. Very cool, very cool. What's the last thing that you ate? Can I say brand? <laughs> I had uh, shawarma today, funny enough, yeah, before I came course, here. Yeah, of course, no yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, Safadi shawarma, very, very good. Love shawarmas. Mm. Yeah. Shawarma is life. Yes, Let me yes. tell you. <laughs> favorite actress? Ooh, there's that new one. What's her name? Uh, Dakota Johnson and the other one, the other redhead English girl. I was one the, the other day, I forget her name. I'll Celebrity crush. That one, Dakota Johnson. Ah. I'm just, yeah, I'm smitten. <laughs> <laughs> Any advice for your previous boss? My father? <laughs> oh, still oh my you've boss. never had a, no, a boss? No. Okay, hello. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry, Dad. Hang on, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're going to sell the business here. <laughs> uh, describe the word, uh, if I was blind, describe the color yellow to me. Oh, wow. 
Well, now that I can only see you. I know, right? <laughs> yes, that wasn't, yes, it wasn't a beautiful planned. color on you. It wasn't planned. Um, Let's it, say if I was blind oof. and I needed to understand that I was wearing yellow, describe me what I'm wearing. I think because of people, they tell you what yellow is, but I don't know, it'd be something light or, yeah, something. Oof. Bear in mind I'm blind and I can't see. Yeah, yeah, I'm how never able to see. How can me? you? Br uh, oof. Powerful. How about that? Uh -huh. Yeah, powerful. 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 I gotcha. Powerful. I gotcha. I gotcha. If a penguin walked into the studios right now wearing a sombrero, what would he say and why would he be here? Hola, where's my margarita? <laughs> <laughs> I love With it. my juice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Any special someone? No. No? No. Not even mom? Oh, of course. No. <laughs> <laughs> Any special highs and hellos before we end the show today? Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for having me. All the Essentially team. My mom. Hi, mom. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love it. That's it. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Well, it was so much fun having you on thank the show. You. Thanks for stopping by. I thank love you. that we brought these juices in. We're going to enjoy this them. to our crew behind the scenes sure. today. You guys all get some juice. I <laughs> love it. All right, guys. That is all the time that I have for today. I've got Vegas. I've got New York. I've got Canada, Los Angeles, Denver, Russia, Chicago, France, and Monaco. Argentina and Brazil are all watching. And to every person that's tuned in worldwide, you guys rock especially those of you right here in the United Arab Emirates. We love you, Dubai. Send your shout-outs over to me at agagatfusalive.com. Broadcasting from our studios right here in Fusel. I am Angela Gag. See you next time. Same time, same place.